Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from Data Science as a Career. This video is the part two of how to start a career in data science. To recap the part one, the first four steps were learn mathematics and statistics, practice programming, dip your feet into machine learning, and create and make machine learning projects. Let's start with step number five, creating a portfolio. While a resume is an important component to showcase your abilities to the potential employers, a data scientist should also be able to showcase his or her abilities in coding and other software capabilities. A crucial part of data science jobs is to be able to code, and GitHub serves as a perfect platform to access the coding skills and display hands-on ability to solve problems. Here are some of the points one must remember. Do not forget to fill out personal details such as username, email address, previous employee, etc. Large followers. The number of followers that your portfolio has is a good indication of the work that you have done in the past. More than 50 is usually a decent number. Contribution graph. This shows your keenness to explore other areas and shows activity levels in the coding community. The greener the graph is, the better is your contribution rate. Improving on stars. This is a way of identifying how you have engaged in the community. 100 stars are usually considered decent, but larger the better. Forking and creating repositories. More the number of people who have forked, the greater is the popularity of that developer's project in the GitHub community. A large amount of activity indicates that the developer is working on a popular project. Writing employer targeted code. Writing a code related directly to the employer's business is a good way to catch their attention. It can showcase your coding abilities while demonstrating the interest you have in getting that job. Moving on the sixth step, focus on soft skills too. Industry experts say that simply hiring a data scientist is not enough. Managers need to take special care in aligning business and data teams, thus making sure that the data scientists they hire are self-sufficient. Otherwise, they might not get the expected ROI in data science, which is a major problem in 80% of the companies. Here are the skills a good data scientist should focus on. Communication, problem solving, ability to draw parallels to the real world problems, prioritization and business acumen. As a data scientist, it is important to put your thoughts into words and communicate effectively with your team members and your shareholders. Coming to the seventh step, applying for jobs wisely. As tools are evolving, data science jobs are maturing and becoming more mainstream in most companies. The number of openings that companies have for a data science role is on the high. Given the number of opportunities available, these are now being expanded to professionals with non-technical backgrounds as well. While there are many positions with a shortage of ideal candidates, it has made it quite possible for one candidate landing up with more than one job offer in hand for similar roles. That's why it's necessary to ask questions about the job role being offered as this is your first step into data science. Let's look at the important things that you need to ask about. Responsibilities. What would your job role actually entail? Tools used. Is the company working on latest technologies and what tools are being used for the same? Methodologies used. Type of data used in the organization. Time spent on aspects of the role like analysis and data management. The data science domain is huge. One needs to be sure as to which role he or she would like to choose and start preparing accordingly. There are a number of job roles in data science which are currently available among organizations such as machine learning engineer, data architect, quantitative analyst, big data engineer, data scientist, ADAT visualization expert, and several others. One must get clear with what these job roles do and then decide what you should become. Coming to the last step, keep upskilling. To keep up with the changing times, most organizations try to hire candidates who show willingness to learn and upskill. We have seen in the past how companies like Cognizant laid off employees who were not able to keep up with the changing technologies and failed to upskill themselves. Companies in 2020 are focusing on not just training a single skill, but a cluster of skills which will be relevant for more number of years. Some of the skills that are currently picking up are automation, RPA, robotics, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, 
IoT, connected devices, fintech, data analytics and blockchain. With that, we come to the end of this step-by-step -step guide on how to start a career in data science. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment on everything related to data science as a career. Bye.